Good morning. Today I'm taking you guys along on a day alone. Normally when I'm at home anyways, I do things by myself. My two friends, if they're busy, I'm out of luck and I have to do things by myself. And I'm growing to like sometimes doing things alone. It's not ideal. It's not the best. I do consider myself a little more extroverted than introverted. So I do like hanging around people. But today we have a whole list of things we need whole list of things we need to do we're gonna go to the gym maybe and then we have some work to do at home but i made my coffee first on the to-do list for this morning we're gonna work we're gonna grind we're gonna step into my office welcome to a day of my life alone i feel like i should make my bed before we get the day started Welcome to my office. I need to take this thing off. Okay, so this is my office. This is my nine to five right here at this kitchen table. On my to-do list for today is I wanna work on a new blog post. If you don't know, I have a blog. I also wanna plan out videos for next month because I'm going to Denmark and I'm gonna be there for a little bit and I wanna come up with some fun video ideas to do while I'm there. I'm gonna scroll on Pinterest, honestly, so. <laughs> Didn't write that down, but you know, whatever. I'll usually go through my emails. Let's see if I have any. I have no emails. Okay, awesome. So check, that's done. Currently, I am gonna work on my blog. The new merch, I hate saying merch, the new sweatshirt. It's coming out on Thursday, the 19th. So by the time you're watching this, the sweatshirt will already be out. So go shop, go twin. But basically, I'm just creating right now an email to send out when it comes out. So I have, if you go on my blog, you can put in I think you should be able to put in your email to sign up for like newsletters basically, but I've never done one before. This is my first one that I'm doing and I'm trying to figure it out. And I'm just basically gonna send one saying that like the sweatshirt's out. So I've been trying to craft up that and put in everyone's emails. So that's fun. I'm also working on a September favorites that I'm gonna post at the end of the month. I wanna try and do monthly favorites on my blog, just of like my favorite books, movies, products, memories, lessons, advice, like that kind of thing. So it's like a monthly reoccurring series. So in like two weeks, the September one will be out. In case you're wondering what I'm doing on this computer, that's it. Nothing crazy, nothing exciting. I'm on Pinterest at, at the moment. I always start on Pinterest to like get the creative juices flowing. Take this time while you watch the montage to go start working on something. Okay, but we're gonna work now. Oh, I need my blue light glasses. My eyes have been not well. Disregard the messy room over there, you guys, please. I just finished some of my work. I started on a couple blog posts. They're not entirely done yet, but we'll get there. And then I had a little snack. And before I like hunker down and start reading, I decided I needed to clean my space up, tidy my room. Disregard again, please. I forgot that I wanted to share some of these clothes with you guys. I have been trying to build a new like fall wardrobe. I tend to wear a lot of sweatshirts and sweatpants, which I love. I love my cozy clothes. I've been really dialing into Pinterest lately and have been wanting to actually dress like my fall Pinterest boards instead of just saving the pins and then wearing my sweatshirts. So I went a little bit outside of my comfort zone and got some clothes from Revolve that I wouldn't normally go out of my way to get. So that way I will be forced to dress out of my comfort zone and I just wanted to share them. Okay, the first thing you've definitely seen me wear them a ton of times, these jeans, they're girlfriend jeans and they're low rise. I've never owned a pair of low rise jeans in my entire life. This is really stepping outside of my comfort zone, but I love them. They're so comfortable. They go with any top. They are just so cozy and so cute. So I think these will definitely be a pair of staple jeans for the fall. This is from Lovers and Friends. It's this black cardigan and it's super soft super like thick and will be warm for fall i saw this on pinterest i wanted like a cute cardigan this is a statement piece for sure it's this red 
jacket. Again, I tried to match everything with the jeans. So this top, I feel it goes really well with the jeans. Okay, this is definitely also outside of my comfort zone. It's this strapless black top. It's a little asymmetrical. I thought this looked really cute with the jeans as well. Everything is going with the jeans. We love them. But that's it for my little mini Revolve haul. Hopefully you will see me wearing these and stepping outside of my fashion comfort zone. Next on the to-do list for the day is... Guys, please don't, please don't hate me, but I think I want another coffee. So I'm gonna make one and read my book. This just like barely made it, almost <laughs> overflowed. This is an espresso pumpkin spice cake, an espresso pod. And then I put the Chobani pumpkin spice creamer. Beautiful, lovely. In my little friends mug. I just need you guys to know, I'm the biggest friends fan. I swear. I watch it every day. It's the only show I watch. I sit there and I quote it by myself. Look at this. If you were a friends character, what one would you be? And what one would I be? I really don't know. Sometimes I'm I'm Chandler, sometimes I'm Monica, other times I'm Phoebe. I also made myself a little peanut butter jelly toast thing. I only had one piece of toast left, so couldn't make a sandwich, but let's read. The time has come to go to the gym and leave the house. We've had a great productive morning. It's been nice and peaceful and quiet here. My room is trashed because I filmed like a try on thing. It's 5 p.m. Don't know where the day went. I guess I should get ready for the gym. Actually, I don't really wanna go to the gym. Part of my blog, I will always say send love letters and then I have a PO box right here and people will send me letters. Look how sweet and cute this is with a little stamp. It's from Germany. Just know that if you've ever sent me a letter, I literally treasure it and I keep every single one. Going to the post office is like my favorite part of the day. If you sent me a letter, love you. all day for this Olipop. So good. And I have my sweet treat. I've been obsessed with these bar like with these chocolate bars. I have to have one in my pantry at all times. I need to brush my hair. I saved my quiet time to open these letters so I can really soak them in and enjoy them. I'll probably read my Bible and journal for a little, read my book because I'm kind of in the mood to read, and with Gilmore Girls. We're gonna read the letters. And this one's from Germany and I'm just dying to see what it says. Ugh, I feel so bad. Every time I open them, I destroy them. This is so cute. This is my love language, like so cute. Oh my gosh, look it. It's a pumpkin bread recipe. <laughs> no, because I could cry. This is the sweetest. This is literally so cute. Oh my gosh, and she wrote all the directions on the back. That's it, I'm starting a cookbook because this is so cute. If you have any recipes, please send them to me. Like, I'm making a love letter cookbook. It's, you heard it here first. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen and I am making this chocolate chip pumpkin bread in my next video because this is my love language right here. You guys have no idea how much this just made my entire night. Like, I'm gonna be going to sleep like this. Oh, it's so 
Anyways, I'm going to read, journal, and read, and watch Get More Girls, and eat our chocolate, our sweet treat. The perfect end to the night. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed vlog merch. You can shop it now. So go shop. Let's twin. Yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Go watch Gilmore Girls now that you finished the vlog. Good night. Love you guys. Bye.